Yo, what is going on guys? This is the 4th Gen Gamer here, and welcome back, welcome back one and all to the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Egg Log, and the last time we got to wonderful Rustboro City, and uh, we kind of rushed uh, a little bit, we, we rushed a tad over here, because uh, of course you know that we, um, we kind of skipped some trainers and everything, I just want to hatch some eggs, I love hatching them eggs, it's so much fun, but uh, for now we're going to enter at 116, and you know what that means, right? We get to get to another Pokemon that we will soon enough get to exchange for another egg, and this is going to be a tail. It doesn't really matter what this is, really the level is what matters the most, to be completely honest. But we have our, our buddy here, our buddy uh, Chuck the Mankey, who uh, is our highest level, right? Yeah, he is. I don't know, it's kind of like single digits, just chilling that level 4 to 7 range, that's pretty good and everything. Not main concern. But, uh, I'm gonna go for a low kick, because that should not do a lot, because it's part flying type and all that. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And that's what we really need. I better have Pokeballs. Holy crap, I better have Pokeballs. Uh-oh. Uh... Yes, I have four. Okay, sweet. Uh, but holy shit, guys. I just want to thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support on this series so far. It just it makes me happy inside. <laughs> when people watch the videos. And uh, I did the secret word thing last time. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then you should go back and watch the video. But, um, so many of you commented the secret word of the episode. I'm gonna make it a regular thing, because I kind of want to see who watches the full video. When I saw so many people comment monkey burp, I was so happy. I was like, yo, you watch the video, and you watch the video, and you watch the video, like, at least up to that point. But that just, it really made me all happy and awesome inside, because, you know, you guys watch the video, and that's just, it's really cool to me, because, like, I put a lot of effort into this shit, and, uh, you know, some people, they go around, and they just like the video, and they watch for a minute, and I think that's what, like, you know, you know, 99 out of 100 people do, but a lot of people actually watch the full video, which is awesome. And, uh, it really is mean a lot. I, I don't know if it seems like I'm dragging it out, but thank you guys so much, really. It means a lot from the bottom of my heart. From the bottom, bottom of my heart. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to run down to the cave, uh, Rustboro Tunnel. Yes, Rustboro Tunnel. Which, um, no... No, 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 it, no. Rusturf, Rusturf. What? Did I say Rustboro Tunnel? No. I'm a fucking idiot. Rust, uh, Rusturf Tunnel, which, by the way, fun fact, Rusturf, the name of that comes from a fusion of Rustboro and Verdenturf, like in the beginning, Rust, and then, uh, Turf, Verdenturf, you know? Uh, they get that from the combination of the two, which is pretty cool because, I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, because it links the two towns. Maybe you don't give a shit. Maybe it's cool. I don't know. You tell me. Uh, but we also, I realize that we have a double ice type here, and we cannot get this, uh, this snow run. We can't evolve that thing into a gl uh, we can't evolve into a glalie. We can't evolve it into a frost ice, because it has to be a female. I messed up. I fucked up when I said that it was a, a male. It does have to be a female with the dawn stone. So that kind of sucks. I'm probably not going to use it too much longer. I'm probably going to remove Shroomish first, and then, uh, Swami the Snorrent next. Uh, great Pokemon represented, and when I remove a Pokemon from the party, it's not because it's a bad Pokemon, it's just either one Pokemon's better, or I already used it recently, like, in my Alpha Sapphire playthrough that I just completed, I just used a Glalie. And for that matter, a Mega Glalie. Uh, so, I, just, I like, just used that. I want to use some variety, I want to use some different Pokemon, for me and for you guys, because it gets boring as fuck if you see you no know, Glalie in every other Let's Play. Uh, which, you know, it's not really that common for me to use. It's kind of funny that it comes up uh, this often. I remember I did Blaze Black Egglock, probably my... Uh, worst Let's Play because I lost after like six episodes. Fuck that. But, uh, I actually had a Snorunt and I ended up using a Frostlass because I think it was holding like a something cool or, I don't know, a uh, Leech Seed? Ah! Leech Seed's really good. I love Leech Seed. La, 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 le le leech Seed. But I'm not going to teach that. Ah, I feel kind of bad. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not going to teach it. Uh, so, anyway, yeah. Cool Whip's gonna grow level as well, and, uh, yeah, Frost is pretty cool until I'm, uh, let it die, because in that Let's Play, everything fucking died! If you were part of the team, it was, like, a guarantee that you were going to die within, like, the first, within, like, the first three episodes that you were in use. It's, like, an automatic death policy, like, wow, I was terrible back then, and I, I'm not amazing now, but I'm better. <laughs> Alright, so, you have a Silcoon, I'm kind of just running through with my Mankey right now, it's kind of not good to get used to that, but... Uh, my goal is to get to Rust Earth Tunnel, get a nice Wizmer, and then run on back to uh, Rustboro City and hatch some eggs. And, of course, if we need to go back and do some training, if I realize, holy shit, we need training, then hey, we'll come back and we'll do some training. But I do want to hatch some eggs and uh, solidify the party a little bit more. It's always good to have a good idea of, you know, what Pokemon you're going to be training with. You want to be able to get the experience down, because why, why do I want to level up my Swami right now when it could be replaced, you know, 10 minutes into the episode? Uh, I don't know. 
no really no real point to doing that. So hopefully we can avoid the rest of these trainers. Go get uh, that uh, Wismer because that's the only Pokemon you can fucking catch in Rustler Tunnel. <laughs> Sadly enough. And we could hatch some eggs. This is probably the last trainer that we need to avoid. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, I completely forgot that there were wild Pokemon. That's a thing. Uh, it's another Talo. Ah, what up, Talo? What up? All right, yeah. Cool, Chuck. Honestly, I'm excited to use Primeape here because uh, I feel like I've always I've always used Primeape, but I've never really like I've used it a decent amount to like know it somewhat well. But I just never had like a great experience. It's always been just like a side Pokemon. It's now it's kind of taking a little more of a leadership role, and especially entering this gym, it's going to be really crucial. So that's going to that's good. And uh, we're actually going to be back here. I'll probably pause the episode to get here again because we need to come here to confront uh, Team Aqua. So, so yes. So yes, we'll be back here soon enough. Uh, but for now, like I said, I just want to hatch some eggs, especially at the beginning of the game. You know, it's going to be a lot of egg hatching, which is fun. And level 9 Wismer. Wow, this is going to be nice to have on the team because we're going to hatch an egg and grow to level 9. All right. Uh, this is almost to a point where we need to do another move uh, to damage a little bit more, but I think for now we're good for Pokeball. Wismer's kind of weak. It, uh, we already did some damage. We could send in Shroomish and uh, use the Sun Spore, which is pretty useful for that, not gonna lie. Uh, let's see if this thing can stay in the ball, though. That would be fantastic. I would appreciate that a lot. And three shakes! Yes, there we go. He stayed in the ball. And you know what? I'm not gonna waste all this time. I'm gonna pause the episode, and when I get back to the Pokemon Center, we can have some eggs. I will unpause the video. If I unpause and I'm on a trainer battle, that means that I couldn't avoid a trainer battle because I'm stupid and stuff. So yeah, I'll be back in just a moment. Alright, we are back. I was very fortunate enough to avoid all the trainer battles. And uh, we're about to hatch some more eggs. My favorite. My favorite. I love it. This is some Wonder Cup Pokemon, in case you guys are curious. But uh, these two, actually. These two are the ones that we are going to be replacing uh, with eggs. So we have a level 6 Talo. Which box will we go with? Which box? Which box? Which box? We're going box 2. Uh, I, you know, I should probably... There we go. Let's, let's actually... Can we, like, swap them? There we go. I, I selected, like, the wrong one. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Motherfucker, yeah. All right, let's add this thing. It's going to be level six. And like I said, if I need a nickname, of course you guys know that I will go to Twitter and I'll be a dick and pause the video again. <laughs> oh, what's this? It will be at level six. I know that much. Hopefully, something that's not a grass or ice steps. We have enough of those. <laughs> but let us see. Let us see. It will be a shop it. Ooh, shop it. Ooh, that's actually really good. That is really good, actually. We are going to name you. We're going to name you Rotom, Rotom Ghost, Rotom Ghost, and uh, hopefully this makes some form of sense because the reason why I'm calling it Rotom Ghost is because there is a theory. There is a theory out there that I love that uh, Shuppet is only a Rotom with a Reaper Claw thrown on top of it, and why does that make sense? And I'll, I won't pause for these rare candies. There's only six, and I have a story to tell. Well, you see here now. Obviously, the Reaper Cloth is very closely related to the Shuppet family because that is how Dusk, uh, Dusclops evolves into Dusk Nor. And pretty much, it looks just like Rotom. It looks just like Rotom, Scrotum. Uh, except it has like a Reaper Cloth on it. And uh, yeah, you know, Rotom has all his different forms. And this is not part of the theory, but uh, I, I just called it Rotom Ghost because it's like, hey, if Rotom was a ghost type, he would just have Rotom, you know, Reaper Cloth on him. Maybe I'm an idiot. All right. We're going to hatch another egg. We're going to hatch another egg, and I will probably use this. I'm going to swap out uh, Shroomish, I think. Uh, knock off and Screech. That's actually not great. Uh, I will take out Shroomish, though, because we already have two grass types. It's okay. Shuppet will be amazing eventually. And uh, holy shit, what the fuck? I'm getting confused with my boxes right now because I have those Wonder Cup Pokemon down there, and that's not cool. All right. Uh, let me just place you over here just for a moment. So then when I swap the egg, it'll be all good. Let's go back to the first box. I don't think we've done much first box it feels like all right so now this will be a level nine so if this egg is good that will be really fantastic because uh nine levels that's pretty good for our team that'll be like our second highest level wow second highest level so this better be good i'll be very happy if this was a good pokemon and everything i'll be a happy man i will be a happy man let us see what is it going to be it is a Ooh! Ooh, timber I have not used that, and I've always wanted to use it. Ooh, ooh, I need a nickname, though. I need a nickname. I need a nickname. Uh, Twitter, help. And the nickname goes to Just Play Pokemon. Who suggested? 
Uh, morning wood. Uh, I just want to say I love just play both fun so much for that. Yes, morning wood will be the nickname for this timber because it fits and it's the best nickname ever. Morning wood, welcome to the team. You're gonna be level nine. And you're gonna be the best damn Pokemon ever. Cause your name fucking Morning Wood. <laughs> oh, that's so terribly amazing. Oh, JPP, I love you. Mmm. Okay. Oh my god. It wants. That means it has four moves already. Yes, four moves. Ooh. Comet Punch, Strain Punch, Mock Punch, Counter. Ooh Whoever made this for me, you're amazing. This, I hope that this is the Pokemon that I have never really loved, but will love now. Because I've never really used it. Never, ever, ever. Fuck, we have two fighting types. I don't give no shit. We might have to kick Mankey. We might have to kick Mankey. We'll see. For now, no worries. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. And you know, I'm going to stop at level 8 because I remember... That I gave a Pokemon like episode one an extra level, and I'm gonna be fair and shit and make sure that uh you know we get that. We compensate for that. We compensate for that. Cause we did a we used an extra rare candy in episode one. And I said, one episode, once I remember, once I remember, we will We will remember. <laughs> we will remember to uh give a Pokemon one less level. So we're all caught up with that, and that makes me super duper happy. We have morning wood. Guess what? That's the secret word. That is a secret word, that is the secret phrase of today's episode of the alpha sapphire egglock if you are watching up to this part of the video i want you to say loud and proud into the comment section morning wood morning wood oh man that's that's bad that's bad everyone in the comment section even say morning wood and i'm gonna look back and be like why did i say that why did i tell my people and they're watching to say morning wood i'm terrible all right i'm already just going to hell i've been going to hell so it's okay i'm not worried about it uh we're gonna battle this first trainer though just because uh we do need the training just a teeny weeny bit, maybe, possibly. We'll see. We'll see how this uh, timber does now. Uh, this guy is Josh, hey, youngster Josh. Sorry, bro, uh, but there can only be one Josh that wrecks shit, and that is me with my morning wood. <laughs> my morning wood will destroy your Pokemon. Ah! All right, okay, all right. Mock punch, morning wood, show you, dude. <laughs> yes. My morning wood is better than yours. Uh, yes, morning wood. If you don't know what morning wood is, if you're totally confused for like the past three minutes, then uh, I will just say this, Google is your friend. And uh, if you're angry or disturbed or surprised or whatever, don't blame me, blame just play Pokemon. Or if you love it, then uh, I want you to just go, go to JPP and tweet him. Thank you, thank you for that nickname. Thank you for giving the nickname to Josh. Uh, you're really the real MVP. Because he really is. Uh, we're going to use Drain Punch. Oh, Drain Punch! Mm. I love this thing already. Timber. I've never used this little ship before. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to use a fucking Conkledur. But I've never was... It's not like I was never able to. I just never, like... Uh, it just never came up. It was like, oh. I never really found a Wild Timber. Like, with the party slot open. I've rarely found Wild Timber in general. I barely play 5th gen, 6th gen. I don't think I ran to it at all. So this is amazing. This is a day to rejoice and say, All hail Timber and Morning Wood! Maybe. Maybe. You know, I'm way too... I'm like back to the episode 1. Like, someone... Someone suggested... Someone suggested... That I, uh... <laughs> that I... No, I do <clears throat> Fuck him. Fuck him. Keep your old moves. Someone suggested that I do every episode as hyped as I was at the beginning of episode one. That's been this episode, guys. I gotta tell you, this series is so amazing to record. I love it. It's like, ah. Elvis Sapphire Egglock. Like I said, I'm doing this to no one home, so I can yell and scream and bang my dad. Uh, I already saw that. I already gave that speech in, like, episode two, so fuck that. Fuck that shit. All right, so now we have this other guy. I don't even know why I'm battling him, because we're really good for training, but oh, well. Oh, fucking well. We are good, we are good, and I think after this episode, you might even be able to turn off the experience share, because people said, ah, it's not necessary, ah, it is necessary, ah, do whatever you want, so I'm gonna do whatever I want, and I'm going to use it sporadically, use it sporadically, drain punch, it almost says sturdy, uh, no, that was just straight up not killing it, wow, okay, let's go use the defense curl, and wow, drain punch is going to be a great move, because we get, uh, we get some HP back, that is a great, that is a great, uh, benefit of that, so, 
Uh, I don't exactly get how a Drain Punch can work. Uh, maybe just suck the energy out of him with a punch? I don't know, but it's all good. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. We're about 15 minutes in. We're about to face off this gym leader, and maybe we'll even do the event with uh, the Team Aqua guy. I'll probably pause it again, and I'll go and run and see that or the guy or whatever. And uh, just as if you were saying a secret word, like the secret word of the episode, I want you guys to answer this question and be honest with me, please. Because if you don't speak up until like episode, you know, 20, I can't really do anything because that's the end of the series. Or towards the end of the series. Do you guys like it or not like it when I pause the video? Because honestly, it's only to save time and be more productive. Uh, I'm not really going to read the dialogue for Roxanne because uh, this is my fourth time playing. I did the Wonderlock, the normal playthrough, the Hexlock with Elliot, and this is my fourth time. So if you want me to read all that shit, I have other playthroughs with that. But this is for the eggs and for the fun and all that. Because I already waste enough time hatching eggs and nicknaming and all that bullshit. But uh, let me know, please, do you like or not like or are indifferent to me pausing the video and doing shit? And I mean real basic shit. I mean, me pausing it and running to the tunnel, to the rest of the tunnel, because in my opinion, it's just a waste of time, because you already saw me run past there once. You don't need to see me do it again and again and again and again and again again. Because it's, you know, that's just me. I'm trying to save time and be efficient. I, I don't want to waste you guys' time. I want to be productive in the videos and actually make products, because some people are bullshit artists and they like to like, waste an episode just doing nothing and covering a whole route. Uh, I mean, some people do that for walkthroughs and shit, but some people just, you know, have the thumb up their ass and do it. Uh, I'm not saying any names or anything, you know, they do their thing, but personally me, I like to, uh, I like to not waste time and I like to actually, you know, just move along the route and everything and uh, I don't want to waste you guys time. If we already did something, I don't want to show you guys again, so please let me know, do you guys like it or not like it, or are you, are you indifferent to me pausing it, because like after the gym battle, after we read the dialogue outside, I'm going to be like, alright guys, I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to restore my Pokemon, and now I'm going to go back to the rest of your tunnel. If you want me to do some commentary with it, then yeah, alright, cool, say Josh. Fucking hate when you pause the video. Why don't you show that shit? I don't know. Maybe you could be cheating in the Nuzlocke. I don't know how, but eh, you know, let me know. Feedback is uh, feedback is you know helpful. The interaction between me and you guys—that's what makes a good video a great video. So, anyway, so I'm gonna pick up a level there. Oli, Oli, Oli. I'm gonna call him Oli a lot, even though it should be Oli, cause it's really poly Oli. That came from Swami. And uh, man. Man, Mankey was looking really good for a spot as an ace, but, uh, <laughs> since then a lot has changed since I said that, because now we have a Timber, and Mankey's probably going to be gone sooner or later. Maybe not really soon, but uh, sooner or later, he might be gone, depending on the Pokemon that we hatch. Depending on the Pokemon that we hatch, and, you know, that really did not do as much as I wanted it to, but alright. Uh, that's not good. That is not good. I thought we could do this, Jim, and I think we're going to do okay, uh... Rather, we also have, like, Shuppet. Whoever's in that Shuppet, sorry, you're being overshadowed by this timber, I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, seriously, that's a great egg as well. Uh, I've used uh, Shuppet a few times. I haven't really used Mega Bayonet, and I do know where the Bayonetite is. And I don't think you even need to, uh, get incredibly far in the game. You need to get a little far. But you don't need to, like, complete the ground event or anything. You can get it, uh, somewhat reasonable. Like, I can still use a Mega Bayonet. So that's cool. Uh, I'm expecting some type of potion or heal. Maybe not? Alright, so I guess Roxanne's just saying, fuck it. I'm just gonna die here, or maybe she, uh, she didn't really use a potion. Does she not have a potion? Damn. Well, regardless, we're going to, uh, we're gonna pick up a nice, nice amount of experience here. Nose Pass does give a lot, especially at this point of the game. It's level, what, 14 or 15? That's really good. Uh, I just defeated and I already forgot so that's fantastic. We grow a nice level with Morning Wood, though. That is fantastic. It's going to learn Low Kick. Now I'm gonna say, fuck your Low Kick, because we already have three fighting type moves. I feel like that's with a lot of fighting types. Yeah, they should get drowned in these, uh, in all these different things. I mean, it's Karate Chop, and, you know, Focus Punch, and, uh, all this other shit. I don't know. There's so many. <laughs> so many, and they're all, like, they're, they're kind of cool. Some of them have special effects, some of them don't. Like, Low Kick does more damage if you're heavier, and, uh, it's all stupid. Maybe not, maybe so, whatever. We're going to get the, uh, first gym badge, though, in the third episode, and it's funny, because I feel like I have bullshit a lot so far, but I, I think I'm making even progress. Uh, uh, pro- pro- progress. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. I like, I like to make progress in series, like I said. Uh, so, yes, and we're just under the 20-minute mark. I think that we can manage doing the little Aqua Grunt event, especially if we uh, don't do a ton of dialogue. Then, uh, you know, we can definitely get by that pretty quickly, especially if I pause the video. But uh, if you guys don't respond, by the way, I'm just going to keep on pausing the video. <laughs> just going to keep on pausing it. Uh, and if you guys say you like it, maybe I'll do a little more. Uh, anyway, out of the way, move it! Move it! Wow, I'm like really jacked up right now. What the fuck? For this, I was so tired too. Damn it. I'm just crazy. All right. Uh, wait, please don't take those parts. All right. I'll see you guys. 
Uh, actually, no, wait, 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 I will not see you guys. I lied. I am a big fat liar. I think we're about to read some more dialogue in a minute, so I lied. Sorry. I'm a big fat liar. Oh, you- yeah. oh, what the fuck? I don't know if you guys can see on the screen or not, but there's like a little notification from Windows. Thanks, Microsoft. Love you. You're the fantastic trainer. Help me in Pedalberg Woods. Help me. I was robbed by a team. Aqua. Oh, no. Did get the demon parts back? If I don't, I'll get in serious trouble. Oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. Oh, yes. Let's go to Rust Rift Tunnel. Oh, shit. All right. So we are back. And uh, before we actually head in, though, I believe... Oh, he isn't saying anything. Uh, I thought that Mr. Briny said something. All right. I guess I was wrong. All good, though. We're about to face off a nice Team Aqua Grunt. Actually, he's not really nice. He's a real dickhead. But before we go in there, we're going to get a nice Pokeball. Wow, it's a Pokeball that's actually a Pokeball. What do you know? Uh, what an amazing world we live in. All right, let's go over here and uh, talk to this guy. What are you doing? Come on, I'm the backup step because I'm a tough guy. And run to a Wismer. Yay. <laughs> Yay! You know, I don't know if it's just me or not, but I feel like there were Zubats in the originals in this game. Maybe it was Emerald, or maybe I'm just going crazy. Austin, help my Pokemon. I'm stupid. Uh, this guy actually, uh, he has a Zubat? No, he has a... Not Crobat. He has <laughs> what? What the fuck am I thinking? He has a Puchina, right? I think he has Puchina. There, Puchina. So I can actually face Puchina, because you know that's all, you know, Dark type, and I have all that awesome fighting and holy shit, Timber's amazing. <laughs> I love, I love that Timber, guys. Whoever sent that in, you got a good nickname. You got a great Pokemon. You're like my favorite person right now. <laughs> like, I feel like, I really hope this is like the Snubble that I had. Because Snubble, I did not think highly of, I didn't think lowly of, but I didn't think highly of, and it really, the moves that came with it were amazing, and it really was the MVP, and Timber, I, I mean, I don't think lowly of it, I just don't know what to expect from it. I don't know if it's going to be great or terrible, or given Granbull is a, a fairy type when, you know, Snubble evolved and everything, and, uh, well, Snubble is also fairy, but also great moves, and fairy typing is just awesome. I, I still feel like we can uh, reach those expectations with Timber, you know? And I, I eventually Conkle Girl as well, because they're all amazing Pokemon. All right, so I think that's about it for today's episode once we finish this, right? It's plain not right. The boss told me this would be a uh, slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some parts from Devon. <laughs> you want to back that badly, then take them. Oh, yeah, we got the Devon parts. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You can give me a second to X, be sure. Give me another, give me another one. Give me another one. <laughs> All right, uh, actually, we're not gonna have the Devon guy. We're gonna have, we're gonna have Mr. Brownie and Pico. Pico, I'm glad to see that you are safe. My Pico owns, uh, owes, ha. owes her life and freedom to you, lad. They call him Mr. Brownie, and you are also his Josh. I thank you sincerely. Yes, uh, if there's any everything uh, I can do to help you in return, yeah, okay, we will not hesitate. Don't worry, we're gonna get a nice ride with him on the boat. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna end up today's episode. I'm just gonna chill over here, and, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. If you did enjoy, hit that like button! Hit that like button! Hit that like button if you wanna see more. See y'all next time. Peace!